he doesn't I would say he doesn't have the intricacies like you mentioned with the with the team. You know, very he has he has a lot of the the, the bread and butter. He has a lot of uh, very very knowledgeable situations, but like not like we saw with that base using that, that JC to pull out of the corner and set up these classic situations of sandwiches where you wouldn't expect and whatnot. But let's see how Reno they're able to adapt for that. You know, base as a training partner we saw just there pulling ahead. I like that. I like a little finger gun yeah, that they gave the camera. <laughs> there we go. All right, so let's see. So this is your top three for BB Tag. That's right. Here it is. All three of these players have not qualified, so this is a battle to see who is going to beat Tempest Romeo in that grand final. Here we go. Losers finals. First game. Fenrich versus Will to Wins Reno. I really like the way he was using. Well, they were using the five BB there just to contest. Uh, hey oh, guys, punish. recognizing the delay coup draw and an immediate 2A. Very, very fast reaction there from Rito. Nice use of the 2C there, but the push block so smart. An immediate burst, however, though. Keep getting the momentum right back in their favor. Ooh, check out the throw, though. Fenrich mixing it up. There we go. All right, now. Oh, happy birthday. That's just a little bit of damage. I mean, 9K spread across both characters. That's actually a good bit. Oh, and nice trade, but... Does it work out in his favor? Oh, and the EX wheel there to get a good punch. I assume a heal's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not, right? You got so much health that you can get back when it's percentage yeah. based. <gasps> Double oh, heal. Yeah, oh. oh, my goodness. That's another thing to know is that a lot of people forget that the Carbite Zoro does heal him. All right, here we go. No, no meter for this follow up, but trying to bust out. Five B? Well, I mean, I, it's not completely invincible, so why not, right? Yeah, just waiting that over the startup. You could tell that in a lot of situations that uh, where Fenrich would be looking just to get the beat through super in there. That's a punish, oh! by the way. That's a punish. That's a full on punish. Yeah, that is a punish to JB. And uh, normally, what Mitsuru is supposed to do to try and keep that safe, depending on, on uh, whatever character they're fighting against, is to reverse chain them to JA. Oh, and the EX was. That was like. Th that looks like Havoc Noah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was incredible. And now we're going to see what's going to happen. Nice. It's over at. Yeah, stronger the coin flip. Yeah, we talked about it earlier, right? You know, normally her mix-up isn't too strong, but if you don't have any help to work with, her mix-up is immaculate. And especially on a is counter hit here. Oh, oh, yeah. EX to walk She has that. The clutch from Fenrich. That was incredible. And Rito not too happy about that. They're saying they're thinking, uh, you know, why they got that. You know, <laughs> that's so. If you got a bar, that conversion is really easy. But if you don't have a bar, it becomes a lot more difficult. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now we're gonna see what the choice is here. I like the choice of the, the like you said, the neutral jump JB assist call just to contest the anti anti five A round start. So right there, both bursts uh, going a little bit unchecked. Right? Oh, what a five B there from Fenrich! Incredible reaction. There we go. See, oh, and just dropping that last little slash. What is the plan here? Is that JB okay? But the trade is. Oh, and that. That doesn't, you only say, okay, that works out in a neutral situation, but that costs Fenrich all of his, uh, his assist gauge. Oh, Gonna use that EX to stop the Mika Cannon. Now we're gonna see, that's a huge hit. A nice, recognizing the first point. Gets hot, caught, probably fuzzy jumping out with the, uh, with the crystal thing. He gets, he gets caught with that a lot. I'm starting to wonder if he actually knows that if a puddle exists, it's a low. But I, I do, and I haven't seen the, the exclamation where yet, the, the double, the double super. Going to get the full punish here on That's the That's a YouTube. 5B starter, too. That's a full on And that's kill. a dead character because Fenris didn't burst. Fenris did not burst. Probably more hockey more. Of that. That's actually a really interesting choice not to burst. I probably was more afraid of the, the burst punish than anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of Mitsuru Yuzu's, though, like to have Yuzu as a last character. So having Mitsuru last, I, I guess, is just surprising to me. Yeah, absolutely. That's a that's a very odd choice, but I'm sure Fenrich should play more to what he's comfortable with, and we're gonna see what is exactly gonna happen here in this next game. One one right now for both players. Yeah, I mean, I, f I feel like from here on out, uh, if 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 this is this close, Tempest might might take this pretty without much issue. Yeah, it could be possible. However, in the same case, we don't we know that we don't know that yet. Yeah, we absolutely not. No, oh, that at two P anti air, very very solid. Oh, yes, nice. neutral. Oh, that, oh wow, that hit 
He got right out of the air. Gets happy a happy birthday! birthday. Oh, oh, this no. is big. But no assist escapes to follow up. Was just going for that. I'm surprised they didn't super just for the damage on both characters. Oh, I don't know if it follows up on both characters, but that's something they would know and I may not. But that's going to be a dead Yuzu. Fenris didn't even have a chance to think about Burst. There was so much damage. Yeah, that was by the time it was, they realized it was already too late. All right, nice 5A. That's a dead. Oh, a big <gasps> drop, though. A little too oh, close no. to the ground, so got 5C instead of JC. But there's a whip oh. right there. That should be a dead Carmine Mika coming in. And now, here we go, XD. Let's see how that's going to work. Oh, oh God! Oh. Coach! That was... You can't <laughs> tech a command throw. It's unblockable. It is actually unblockable. And now it's going to be on Fenridge to make this comeback right now. 2 1. Let's see what adjustments can be made from that. We saw, I really like that option for the throw bait, but uh, it ended up not only just be a throw bait, but a command throw answer to the throw bait. That's right, yeah. So, I mean, it's, why, why not just go for the command throw since it's completely invincible, anyway? It's basically what they're thinking. Yeah, very, very true. Let's see now. Nice use of that, Jay. Regular throw. And we're going to full pick up here. They're going to do a good knockdown. 4P. Oh, that's a, that's a new option there from that throw. And right back, same mixies. But okay, keeping the car right in the back. Line. Oh, no, Happy not again. birthday. Not again, Bojack. Happy birthday to Reno. Opting sp specifically to kill Mitsuru because, I mean, why why not, right? Yeah. Such a good position Reno's in right now. He, I, well, they, if they, if Carmine gets that little bit of life left, this could be a perfect. Here we go. What's the mix-up? The throw is going to be able to get Ren Resin. It's the 2 B's going to stop it. This should be it right here. And oh, Reno takes oh, down oh, Fenridge in the run back. Oh, my goodness. That is incredible. Oh, my goodness. I like the, the moment they stood up for that handshake with Fenridge, and I just got just flashbacks of Ida 